Cigars International Knockoffs Partagas. Hey, everybody, looking at the cigar vlog. So, Cigars International has a series of cigars called knockoffs, which are supposed to be kind of uh, off brand knockup, mock, mock up, kind of cheap clones of more popular cigars. That's kind of probably not the nicest way of putting that, but anyway, these are put out by General Cigar, branded under Cigars International. And it's kind of funny, actual Partagas is known or owned by uh, General Cigar. So, hey, for all you know, these might actually be Partagas seconds. Maybe. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But, these are supposed to be comparable to the real deal, but a fraction of the price. I don't know if they're actually going to stack up to an actual Partagas, because I don't typically have those on hand. They tend to get a little pricey. So we're just going to find out what's actually here. Excuse me whilst I barbecue my hand. flavor is. I'm going to go with the coffee, dark coffee. Yeah, yeah, dark coffee. That little subtle sweetness. No spice, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, so far, decent start. So, I'm going to get this down to the first inch and uh, see if it uh, wakes up a little bit. Okay, hopefully the wind's not too bad here. Uh, anyway, about the first engine. This has a certain amount of sweetness to it. Not bad. No spice. I'm going to say, uh, kind of sweet, dark coffee. Just have to put a touch of cocoa. It's something else. Retro Hill's got a little earthiness to it. I was just kind of clean tobacco. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting basically uh, coffee with a touch of sweetness, a little earthiness, and um, yeah, no real spice or anything like that. So that's actually pretty nice. Okay, so construction-wise, we got what appears to be a pretty decent double cap. No large veins. Everything seems pretty well built. Maybe a couple off-color spots in the wrapper, but otherwise, it seems pretty spot on. The whole point of these is to be uh, a little bit more budget-friendly. So, fortunately, you get like a bucket load of, you know, a bucket of these for, you know, a song and a half. As far as whether or not they actually compare to the fully branded, fully banded, full price offering, I have no idea. <laughs> I kind of don't know if I actually want to do a side-by-side uh, -side comparison, largely due to the fact that that's gonna leave you a little queasy. <laughs> Not gonna lie. That's a lot of nicotine. Especially if you didn't break back to back. Ooh, God. One after the other. Well, I suppose if you had a drink first, you'd probably be able to get a decent flavor out of it, but at the same time, let's do I'm sorry, I'm just amusing myself here. Anyway, I'm gonna get this down at the halfway point and see if anything makes up or changes. I'm also feeling super awkward because it's a sunny day and everybody is riding the bike, walking the dog, or going for a walk. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll get back to the halfway point. Okay, so I know this isn't the halfway point, but uh, I just want to point out something. The ash here started doing something kind of strange, where it started flowering out really weirdly, and then just kind of <laughs> decided to do that. So it got like super flaky, flew all over the place. You might not want to smoke this in a car, or you know, any place that's got a little bit of a breeze or strong ventilation. Just be mindful of the ash. Anyway, I'll get back to you the halfway. Okay, so I uh, 
I'm calling this the halfway point. I'm not sure if it actually is because I kind of lost track after the first bit flicked off. Anyway, this is um, kind of a sweetie. Got a, little, got, a, got a nice natural sweetness to it. Not overpowering, but nice clean tobacco, a little coffee, and a touch of sweet. Like I said, no spice. Very smooth, very pleasant. Just a nice little hang out with a good coffee, with a good, good whiskey, good conversation, and not break the bank. I guess that's kind of the whole point of the CI knockoff, is to be a more budget-minded cigar. And honestly, for the same price, you can do a lot worse. So far, this turned out to be pretty good. I keep thinking I'm seeing little green spots every so often, or just all, all discolorations. That's probably why it's a knockoff or second style cigar. There's something odd in the color of the wrapper. And yes, that is enough to uh, cut the price in half of even the finest cigars. It's kind of weird. So I keep seeing little color variations. Anyway. I keep smelling somebody's, there's a couple of restaurants behind me and I keep smelling something fried, something beefy, it's like, I think it's, is that Jimmy Changas? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this down to the nub and uh, wrap it up and uh, hopefully not get hungry. So that's actually smelling kind of good. Hey, back to the, the uh, hand. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good point to wrap it up, don't you? So, flavors so far have been pretty consistent throughout. Starts out kind of mellow and smooth, a little sweet, a little coffee, clean tobacco, touch of earthiness. Kind of standard cigar flavor. Retro Hales have been, uh, I want to say, a little earthy, occasionally a little bready, but otherwise, nah, nothing really too special with a Retro Hale. Overall, though, for the price, definitely a nice, pleasant, enjoyable cigar. I can definitely recommend any kind of coffee, any kind of whiskey, or any other thing you want to pair with it. Because this is going to go good with pretty much everything. And so far, these make for an excellent candidate for the quintessential everyday cigar. Not uh, doing no small factor of them being basically dirt cheap. How do they compare to an actual Parthagas? I don't know. I'm not doing a side-by-side -side comparison, so... Kind of hard to tell. Anyway... I to wrap this up because everybody's walking the dog and I don't want to get funny looks from people. So, anyway, <laughs> that's pretty much all I have to say. For the money, you can't beat them. Definitely check them out if you get a chance. A good every day. Beyond that, if you like this review or any other review, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if you had a different experience. Beyond that, check out my Twitch stream. Sunday, Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. I also have a new VOD channel where I'm basically just uploading just the straight up Twitch thing. It should automatically mute anything that's going to be copyright weirded. So, if you happen to stop by that channel and, uh, Starts off with like five minutes of absolute silence. That's why. Anyway, that's all I got for this one. I'll see you next time.